New at 10 tonight, a year after the tragedy in Newtown, we're looking at school safety in local communities, learning about security measures, how they've changed in the wake of the Connecticut shooting. We found many local schools have made significant security improvements. Some of those measures they want to keep secret, especially from those who would do harm. But tonight I'll show you some of the changes schools do want the public to know about. In Warwick, learning is the focus at Randall Holden Elementary. But ever since December 14th, 2012, Warwick schools across the state have had to learn to think differently. So what a person has to do now is that they come up and they buzz, the, the thing like that. And then, we, and then we ask them to step back so they're in the view of the camera. We checked with schools across Rhode Island and learned many are implementing sweeping changes to improve security. In Warwick, that means replacing old wooden doors with metal ones, decreasing the size of any window in the door, making it shatterproof, and the door able to lock from the inside. And now there are cameras. So I know there's a number of things you can't tell us. I have numerous cameras throughout the building. I'm not going to tell you how many or where they're located. I'm just going to tell you that for you to get into the building and not be seen is almost impossible. Cumberland Superintendent Phil Thornton says they're spending $600,000 on security measures like a key fob system like this that secures down. entrances. They would get buzzed in the first set of doors. They would then come in and see the receptionist and gain access to a second set of doors being buzzed in here as well. We've discovered a number of other new security measures. One community has hired an architect to improve safety. North Providence officials want to link all schools by camera to the police. And in Providence and many other districts, school staff practice lockdown drills with students. Holden Elementary is one of the schools that holds periodic drills. And because of lessons learned from tragedies like Columbine, Virginia Tech, and Newtown, traditional school safety techniques have changed. Now, a new guide from the Obama administration suggests students and teachers run, hide, and if they have to, fight back against an active shooter. Are people okay with that, with the idea of fighting back, the idea of becoming more than just a teacher but a protector? Are they okay? I don't think, I don't think I'm okay with it. However, on the other path like that, you know, I don't want any child getting hurt either. The idea behind this new recommendation, instead of being passive and waiting for help if necessary, be active and perhaps save your own life and the lives of others. And just last month at a security conference, Rhode Island Emergency Management and State Police introduced the run, hide, fight option to local police and school supervisors. Some districts have already begun to train teachers and students to fight back.